Hey guys, welcome to Close 3D Fashion Runway. Today we are going to create a seamless fashion runway with multiple avatar in Close 3D. Plus, we will use some additional video editing software such as Premiere Pro to create this seamless runway. Alright, let's get started. First thing we want to bring in Garmin. To do that, we'll go to this library panel and then click on the plus sign. Then I'm going to navigate to my folder here. So right here, Close Animation Project, click on that and then come down here, click on open. Next, I'm going to double click on that folder right here that I just brought in. And next, we want to double click on this avatar here to load her onto the workspace. First, I'm going to come over here and then Marquee selects all the pattern pieces and come over here to the property editor. And we want to change the particle distance here to 10. Simply type in 10 and then press on return until on the keyboard to confirm. Next, I'm going to come over here and then click on the simulation button to simulate. And I'm going to stop the simulation, simply click on that simulation button again, or press on the space bar to stop the simulation. After that, we will go to animation, simply come over here to this top right, click on that simulation, and we want to select animation, click on that. And over here, we are in this animation window. I'm going to simply bring this up a little bit so we get to see timeline a little bit better. Next, we want to load the state. To load the state, we'll come back to library panel and we want to come down here to state, double click on it. And we want to scroll down here and hover the mouse over the state number one. Simply double click on it. And by default, I have load type is open. I will change it back to add here and leave everything as is and we want to click on OK. OK, that is. So now we want to hide this floor. To hide the floor, we'll come over here to the vertical toggle menu and then click on this environment display. And we want to come down here and click on the show ground grid to turn off. So first of all, guys, you can modify the state. For example, you can change the color of the state as well as hide this logo. However, though, if you want to see the video on how to do it, I have a video link right below this video. Right now, I'm going to leave it as it is. And we are going to apply motion next. To apply the motion, we'll come back over here to the library panel once again and then double click on this avatar folder to open and we want to come down here. So just a quick tip guys, with the latest version 2024.1, 20, you can apply any motion onto the avatar. For example, you can apply male, kid. In this case, I will select female motion here. So double click on that female motion and then come over here to this motion folder, double click on it. We have several motion here. You can select any of these you would like. I will prefer select the first one here. Simply double click. And by default, I have move avatar and garment to start position. Transition 30 frames per second. That is perfect. I will click on OK to confirm. OK, so if we look at down here, we see simulation quality, animation stable. That's what we want. And down here, we have transition. And this is the motion that we just drop into. And over here, we have current frame, start frame, and end frame. So next we want to simulate the Garmin motion. Simply come over here and then click on this record button here to simulate the Garmin motion. By the way, guys, I will speed the process up. So save us some time. All right. So next we are going to simply click on the playhead and then drag it back a little, bring her to the front. And we want to set this workspace to what we need. For example, I want to zoom out a little bit here and then kind of bring it just the angle up a little bit. And we want to simply cover this front state here. And next we want to save this as a .mp4 or .movie file. To do that, we'll go to file here and then come down here to video capture and we want to select animation. And in this case, let's bring this window up a little. So preset, we have current and orientation landscape, perfect. The width though, I'm going to change that to 1920. And I'm going to press on return into on the keyboard here. And I'm going to change to 1080 and then press on return into on the keyboard. So this regard the green screen guy, no worry, because when we export, we don't even see the green screen there. All right. So next, I'm going to click on this record button right here to record the end result. And once again, guy, I'm going to speed up the process here. It will save us some time. Okay, next we're going to click on the stop button right here. And let's come over here and then we want to click on this slide bar here to slide up. And let's click on this play button right here to play the animation. Or you can also grab that playhead here, drag it forward to play and then drag it backward to reverse. And looks like I am happy with this fashion runway. Next, I'm going to click on save. 
And over here, I'm going to name that purple dress. Uh, let's make a copy here. Then I'm going to navigate to my folder here. So this is the project and I'm going to save it in this footage here. So click on that footage cloud fashion runway and then click on save. Okay, first of all, be sure the format here .mp4 or if it's not, click on here and then select .mp4 and come over here, click on save. So next we want to remove the stage. To remove the stage, first we want to drag this timeline here back to the front a little and we want to go to this animation menu and then we want to select simulation here and over here I'm going to zoom out a little and we want to click one on the state and then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Next we want to change the color of the background here to green. Simply right click on the background and then select format 3D background and we want to select the solid field and by default I have green color in. If you are not simply click on that color chip and over here guys I have this hex number listed below the video description. You can simply copy and paste this hex number you will get this exactly green. And after that, I'm going to click on Apply and Close. After that, we'll click on OK to confirm. Now we're going to go back to Simulation menu and then select Animation. And over here, we are going to record this as well. So before we are recording this, I'm going to simply click and drag on the playhead to see how the animation go. And let's zoom in a little bit further here. Simply scroll the mouse wheel forward here to zoom in, just like that. And I think I like the angle and everything. So now I'm ready to save this as a video format. Simply go to File and come down here to Video Capture and we want to select Animation. And by default, I have Preset is Current, Orientation, Landscape, and over here, we're going to change the width here to 1920. Press on Return Enter on the keyboard to confirm. And we want to change the height here to 1080. Press on Return Enter on the keyboard to confirm. Next, I'm going to click on the Record button here to record. Once again, guys, I'm going to speed up the process here to save us some time. All right, so now it is finished. I'm going to click on this Record button right here. And once again, let's click on this Playhead and then drag it forward, see if anything wrong with the animation. It looks like it is perfect. I'm going to click on the Save button right here and name this or simply paste the name and I will type in here green and then underscore. Let's make a copy of that and navigate to the folder that I want to save. In this case is second clove animation and we want to save in this is footage clove fashion runway and then click on save. And once again, by default, I have this dot mp4 simply click save here to save next we want to animate two more garments simply click on this playhead here and then drag it backward to the center and i will come over here to this animation and then select simulation menu here to get back to here now we are going to remove this avatar and the dress simply click on the avatar and then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete her and i also want to delete this garment as well so my key select right click and then select delete Next, let's go to the Clo Animation project and this time we are going to load this avatar here. Simply double click to load her onto the workspace. This one, we do not need the state. We only need the green background. Simply right click on the workspace and then select Format 3D Background and select Solid. By default, I have that green color selected. I will click on OK to confirm. Now I will go over here to the simulation and then select Animation and next lid bring it up a little bit here and I'm going to select the motion which is go to library panel and come down here to the avatar folder double click and we want to select this female underscore v2 double click on it and come over here to this motion folder double click on it to open and we want to apply the same motion however though it's up to you you can apply different motion as you want but in this case I will select the same motion here simply double click and by default I have Move avatar and garment to start position, transition animation, 30 frames per second. That's what we want and I'm going to click on OK. After that, be sure the simulation quality is animation stable and click on the record button right here to simulate the garment motion. Once again, guys, I will speed up the process here so it will save us some time. Okay, next I'm going to simply drag that playhead back and let's zoom out a little because I like the avatar here to have similar size to the first one, okay? Next, we are going to save this as a video format. Simply go to File once again and then come down here to Video Capture and then select Animation. And let's check here the dimension which is width 1920 and then height 1080, that's what we want. I'm going to click on this Record button here to record. Once again, I'm going to speed up the process here so it will save us some time. 
All right, so next I'm going to click on the stop button right here. And once again, let click on that playhead and then drag it outward. It's actually looking pretty good. And let's zoom this out all the way here. Click on the sidebar and then slide it out all the way. So you get to bring the playhead out all the way and see the finished result. Let's say I'm happy with the result. Now I'm going to click on save. And then I'm going to paste this name here. So it would be Turquoise. And right now I'm going to save into the same folder here, footage, clothes, fashion, and be sure this format is .mp4 and then click on save. We are almost done, guys. Only one more garments and then we will bring it to Adobe Premiere Pro to, to edit the garments together. All right. So next, once again, I'm going to simply click on the playhead, drag it backward to here, and then come over here to this animation to the top right and then click on simulation. And once again, click on the avatar, press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Next, my key selects the pattern, right click, and then selects delete.